Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you can set the page size, orientation, and margins for your publication. To do this, click the Page Design tab in the ribbon. The buttons that control the page setup of the publication are found within the Page Setup button group on this tab. Click the Margins drop-down button to set the margins for your current publication from the preset options. To set custom margin guides for the publication, select the Custom Margins command from the Buttons drop-down menu. Doing this will open the Layout Guides dialog box and display the Margin Guides tab. In the Master Pages section, you can check the Two-Page Master checkbox if you need to set margins for a two-page master. In the Margin Guides area, enter the custom margins into the left, right, top, and bottom spinner boxes. When you are finished, click the OK button to apply the custom margins to your publication. The margins appear within your publication as the blue lines that surround the page. When designing your publication, ensure that you do not place any content you want to print into the designated margin area. To switch the page orientation from portrait to landscape and vice versa, click the Orientation drop-down button in the Page Setup button group on the Page Design tab. Then choose the type of page orientation to apply. You can choose a page size from the Size drop-down button in the Page Setup button group on the Page Design tab in the ribbon. To apply a custom page size, orientation, and margins by using the Page Setup dialog box, click either the Page Setup dialog box launcher shown in the lower right corner of the Page Setup button group on the Page Design tab, or click the Size drop-down button in that same button group, and then simply choose the Page Setup command from that button's drop-down menu. In the Page Setup dialog box, enter the height and width of the paper into the Width and Height Spinner boxes in the Page section. In the Margin Guide section below that, you can enter the desired margins into the top, left, bottom, and right spinner boxes. In the Layout Type section, use the drop-down to choose a page layout. For the selected layout type, you can enter any additional settings in the Options section. When finished, you can then click the OK button to apply all of your settings to the publication. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.